Welcome to the last section, tips for coding a tree diagram. In this section, we are going to create a tree diagram. This is going to be different from the previous visualizations, since we are going to be using paths and nodes. We will understand how to connect and update the data and how you can make an interactive, collapsible, horizontal or vertical tree diagram. Let's start with why and where to use the tree diagram. The tree layout is not a distinct type of diagram per se, instead it's a representative of J3's family of hierarchical layouts. It's designed to produce a node link diagram that lays out the connection between nodes in a method that displays the relationship of one node to another in a part-child fashion. For example, this diagram shows a root node, the starting position labeled as top level, which has two children, level 2a, child of top level, and level 2b, child of top level. Subsequently, level 2a has two dependent nodes, or children, son of a and daughter of a. The clear advantage to this style of diagram is that describing it in text is a bit difficult, but representing it graphically makes the relationships easy to determine. The data required to produce this type of layout needs to describe the relationships, but this is not necessarily an onerous task. For example, this data in JSON form is for this diagram and it shows the minimum information required to form the correct layout hierarchy. It shows each node as having a name that identifies it on the tree and where appropriate the children it has as an array and its parents. There is a wealth of examples of tree diagrams on the web, but I would recommend to visit the D3GS gallery maintained by Christopher View as a starting point to get some ideas. Links gallery can be found in the resources section of this course. A tree diagram always requires two data arrays, one for nodes and another one for the links, and we are going to see both of these types of arrays in our example. Now nodes contains the objects, which is parents and children, whereas link identifies all the links between the nodes, and sometimes we also call this one edges. We are going to work through a simple example of the code that draws a tree diagram. This is more for the understanding of the process. 